I thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank my friend uh, from Arkansas, French Hill, who's managing the set of financial services uh, sanctions against uh, Russia for yielding me the time. And I rise in support of my bill, 6891, the Isolate Russian Government Officials Act, a bipartisan bill that would exclude Russian government officials from participating in key international bodies until Moscow puts a stop to the brutal and utterly unprovoked war in Ukraine. These Russian officials would be excluded from international bodies, including the G20 and other organizations that oversee the world's financial system. I, taking part in these groups' proceedings should be out of the question for a country that has ended decades of peace in Europe and threatened financial stability globally. As we know, the U.S. and our allies have levied punishing sanctions against the Putin regime, and these measures have imposed immense, immense costs on Moscow. But there must be a diplomatic cost as well. And that means leaving Russian government officials on the outside of every one of these key organizations looking in. After I introduced H.R. 6891, I was pleased to see that the president, he called upon Russia to be ejected from the G20. And this legislation would ensure that Treasury and the Federal Reserve take all necessary steps to advance this uh, as U.S. policy and law. The Financial Services Committee, on a bipartisan basis, has traditionally pursued clear objectives in its national security legislation. Our bills are a means to an end, and my legislation is no exception. While H.R. 6891 takes a hard stance against Russian officials, it provides an off-ramp for Moscow if, if and only if Putin chooses to end the violence in Ukraine. There is also waiver authority so that the executive branch can have maximum leverage when negotiating an end to the Russian hostilities. But let's be crystal clear. Just as launching an illegal and unilateral attack on Ukraine was wholly Putin's choice and his alone, so too is it his choice to bring Russia back into the fold of the international community by ending his war on Ukraine. China and other countries and adversaries are watching our response to Russia closely. And our resolve in the face of Putin's invasion should signal to China and others that it will become an international pariah if Beijing ever follows Moscow's playbook. Benefiting from participation in international organizations, including the ones in my bill, calls for a basic level of commitment to international order. We mustn't let others take this for granted. Again, I want to thank the chairwoman and the ranking member for their support of H.R. 6891, and I urge my colleagues to support the bill, the Isolate Russian Government Officials Act, and I yield back the balance of my